completed the uh, first third, what I think is going to be the first third of chapter 6. Unlike chapter 5, where it really worked out to have only two videos, I definitely think this is going to be three videos. I know, and I'll show the book. Actually, I'll show this first. But when I show the book, you will see that these sections are actually very, very interesting for data science. And I, I want to, I'm not going to be skipping along like I did here. That's for sure. Uh, so yeah, so then uh, this video goes out September 4. I did 99 more problems, so now I'm at 1,139 problems attempted. Uh, and yeah, and I so I read two more sections in chapter 6. And I'm not going to do the uh, appendices for proofs and uh, complex numbers. That's just common information by now in my development as a very casual mathematics person. I would never dare call myself a mathematician. That's not fair to real mathematicians. All right, so the beginning of chapter six, inner products, where you take uh, the dot product and really generalize it to various uh, vector spaces. Real in this case, four axioms for an inner product. Uh, for some of the problems, I had to come back to these to prove them. Then, uh, just various rules of the uh, distance and the norm uh, for uh, inner, inner space products, inner products, inner products. Um, yeah, and then when they're weighted, you got to put numbers in front of the product. So we do for the weights. <coughs> Yep, and then of course when you're using matrices, you really have to do the trace to for it to be the uh, we call it the correct term. I'm sorry. Yeah. So yeah, the inner product. That's what it's always called, the inner product. I don't want to add another word. Of course, a stand, there's a standard inner product. Then various evaluations for polynomials and for integrals, uh, depending on where the functions are continuous. So they can be uh, from 0 to 1, negative 1 to 1. It uh, depends on, on that specific definition. Then uh, the second uh, section is all about angles and, orthogonal <coughs> and orthogonality. So you have to use uh, triangle inequality. Then there's also the generalized Pythagorean theorem. Then there's also the Cauchy-Schwarz Cauchy inequality. Yeah, and that's really the book for this work. Um, yeah. So of course, read the section, 6.1, and then uh, worked on problems. A few errors here and there, but nothing major, just uh, arithmetic errors uh, as I worked through the problems. Very straightforward, just calculation type of problems. Making sure the trace is correct. Yeah, and I made a mistake here where I was doing problem 37 and I actually did it for for the uh, polynom for the uh, polynomials in question 38. So then I had to redo it all over again to actually do 37. But for 38, I had already done it. It happens sometimes. I've done this. I've made that mistake before. Then getting down to proofs, and at least the ones that were answered in the exercise book, I got all right. Um, true and false. Yeah, sometimes they get me. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Then on to section 6.2. Very much the same way as the previous section. Um, with, and of course, I like to work out uh, the examples if they're not fully worked out. Then on to the problems. A few errors here and there, but nothing, nothing bad. Um, I did figure out how to solve them, all the problems, most of the problems. 
yeah, this whole business of taking the vectors, making them into a matrix, reducing it, figuring out what the, the basis is, and then verifying that you do get zero when you multiply the basis vector to the original matrix. Did that a couple of times. Yeah, some trigonometric manipulation for some of the inner products, the ones with integrals. And then at the end, of course, as always, a few proofs, which I always enjoy. The more trigonometric manipulations. And that is it for the first two sections of chapter six. With the true and false, I actually did a little better for this section.